As we all know, it's essential when stealing an ATM machine to make sure that you take your chain in your pickup truck. So, when a guy from Queensland, Australia decided to do just that, he had all the necessary equipment. Like any good citizen, he tied his chain to the rear of his stolen truck and made his merry way to innocently rob the ATM machine from a gas station. He turned up at the store, smashed his way through the glass door with the help of his trusty hammer, and made his way inside. He tied his chain to the ATM machine, and then it was simply time to go home and count his earnings. What the man didn't realize was that his chain had come unhooked and his vehicle wasn't connected to the machine. As a result, he drove away without any earnings. A few minutes later, he logically returned to the scene of the crime in a bold attempt to try again. It was then that he realized his chain was too short, so he left the scene without a cent, cashless, brainless, and profitless. After completing a successful bank robbery, it's of course imperative to brag about your success on YouTube. When 19-year-old Nebraskan Hannah Sabata stole a car, held up a bank at gunpoint, and made her getaway with $6,000, she decided to advertise her feat in a bizarre online video. But it wasn't enough to be pragmatic about it, so, inspired by the creative hijinks of songsmith Bob Dylan, she did so wordlessly, artfully holding up handwritten signs in front of the camera. These signs spelled out the details of her crime, her feelings, and her intentions of how to spend the money. The video also sees her fanning herself with a wad of cash, pretending to smoke a cigar, and holding up the keys to the stolen vehicle. In the footage, she describes the robbery as the best day of her life. Strangely, despite her dedication to remaining clandestine, the police somehow managed to discover the perpetrator of the crime, and she was swiftly arrested and charged. Hannah Sabata will spend between 10 and 20 years behind bars. Gloves? Check. Bandanas? Check. Gun? Oh yeah. Foolproof plan? Nope. But 3 out of 4 ain't bad. CCTV footage from a London alleyway shows two men chatting while they slowly don what they must believe to be the very best in robbery fashion. Unfortunately for them, they are blissfully ignorant of the CCTV camera right beside them, clearly capturing every detail of their stupid faces. The would-be robbers then leave the alleyway, gun in hand, ready to rob their victim at gunpoint. Slightly out of shot, they approach the man, who is believed to have been targeted for his expensive and flashy car. When the potential victim runs away to alert police, the brave and noble robbers also run from the scene. Who knows what the pair were expecting? Maybe they were anticipating a smoother transaction. Cell phones are expensive, cell phone contracts are expensive, but we all need a cell phone. So one cheeky chancer decided to try his hand at a brand new money-saving tactic in order to save some cash and still receive his daily Instagram fix. After casually wandering around a phone store for a little while, it was time for the plan to be put into place. Our thief in the making took some initiative, grabbed his favorite handset, and made a dash for the door. But as we all know, cell phones are attached to their display tables by retractable cords, so after a few steps, the phone flies out of his hand and lands on the floor. Judging by the CCTV footage, the man was too embarrassed to make a quick getaway. When the bemused store assistant enters the frame, the crappy crook looks bashful and ashamed. He then casually wanders out of the store. Back to the Nokia 3210 for this guy. At least it has snake. Some people steal money, some people steal cars, some people steal diamonds, and some people steal sausages. In 2014, CCTV caught Ricardo Cardona as he spent 20 minutes trying to break through the front door of his favorite local meat store, clearly in a desperate frenzy to appease his drunken munchies. After making his way inside, he entered the meat cooler where he grabbed just a few scrumptious sausages. 
Now, we've all been drunk, and we all know that when the booze takes over, we want two things, food and sleep. And Ricardo was no different. After firstly making his way to the exit, he re-entered the building and decided to get comfortable in the office for a little nap. He was then awoken by employees who arrived the next morning ready to start work. They found him with his feet kicked up on the desk, very much at home, and probably dreaming of a big sausage smorgasbord. He was later charged with criminal trespassing. It is unknown whether Ricardo was allowed to keep the sausages and which type his drunken mind opted for. It's important to look good. We can't all go around wearing the same clothes every day. Pregnant Danielle Saxton felt this compulsion a little bit too much, so instead of waiting for her next paycheck, she made the ditzy decision to simply steal some new garments and jewelry from her local boutique. When the 27-year-old arrived home with her loot, it was photo time. She and her pals took a few snaps of a little modeling session in which she posed wearing the very best of her bargains. She swiftly posted the images on Facebook, and like any self-respecting member of today's social media society, she added one as her profile picture. When the clothes store appealed online to find the thief, keen-eyed locals contacted the store to report Danielle's brand new wardrobe. Most stupidly of all, one of the stolen pieces was a unique and distinctive fluorescent leopard print dress, so it didn't take long to confirm that she was indeed the light-fingered thief. Danielle was arrested and charged. Cabs are useful for two things, a quick ride to another place and a handy holdup to earn some extra cash. One charmless man decided to climb into the back of a cab, gun in hand, and demand that the driver hand over all his money. Unfortunately for the gunman, the cab driver had just started his day at work and was in possession of a measly $11. Not quite the jackpot scoop he was probably expecting. It'll buy you a coffee or two, but it's not quite enough to retire to the Bahamas like a ganglord kingpin. During the robbery, CCTV footage overhears the gunman tell the driver to hand the cash over if you don't want to die. A few seconds later, he then tells him, I'm not going to hurt you. Talk about mixed messages. The easy way, man. Let me see your wallet and let me see your phone. Uh -oh. I need it all right now if you don't want to die, man. Okay, I'm not in my wallet. I'm not gonna hurt you. Just give me everything I, you got. I, sorry, I don't have anything in my The crook's luck soon goes from bad to worse. As it turns out, the vehicle behind the cab is a cop car. The cop casually walks up to the cab and nonchalantly arrests the criminal. There's a cop behind us. There's a cop behind us. Oh 18-year-old oh Victor Martinez Herrera faces up to 10 years in prison. When looking for a low-cost alternative to an expensive disguise, there are a few options. Stockings, balaclavas, a newly grown beard, the list goes on. But two dopey robbers in Iowa, after deciding to get drunk and rob a house, had a different plan. In order to disguise themselves, they daubed their faces with permanent marker. Yep, permanent marker. Matthew McNally and Joey Miller scribbled a bunch of lines and squiggles all over their foolish faces. One of them drew a beard and a mustache, while the other wisely opted for something apparently resembling a superhero mask. It is alleged that they chose their victim because one of the men believed that his girlfriend may have been having an affair with the homeowner. Police were called to the scene after someone reported that men with painted faces were about to rob a house. The officers stopped the car at gunpoint and discovered them in the vehicle with the bizarre and unusual drawings on their faces and later joked about them having the worst disguise ever. The pair were charged with second-degree burglary. To smash a car window, you need something hard, something durable, something sturdy. One Irish criminal and drug editor decided he fancied helping himself to a brand spanking new Mercedes, and step one in his well-crafted plan was to find an object and chuck it through the window of the car. So he did all the right things. He found a car, he put up his hood, and he found a brick, the perfect tool for smashing in a window. CCTV footage then shows him approaching the car and getting ready to unleash the fury. He throws the brick, his mind awash with images of wealth, happiness, and success. In just a few seconds, he'll be cruising along in his new steed, picking up chicks, making men jealous, and leaving a trail of smoke in his wake. Unluckily for him, things don't go as anticipated. The brick rebounds off the car window, hits him in the head, and knocks him out cold. The footage shows him dropping to the ground and remaining there until discovered by the landlord of a nearby pub, who initially suspected him to be the unfortunate victim of a hit-and-run attack. 
At first, the criminal claimed that he was beaten up and left for dead, but when the landlord noticed dents in the bodywork of what turned out to be his car, it didn't take a genius for the truth to unfold. Maybe next time, he'll try using a sponge. When you're committing a crime, there's one golden rule. Don't show your face. At criminal college, that's the first lesson. It's top of the list. It's the motto of the criminal. One robber obviously didn't read the how-to guide before embarking on his first ill-fated heist. The intelligent and sharp Rodney Knight Jr. broke into the family home of a journalist and his son and stole two laptops, $400 in cash, and a windproof winter coat. After arriving home, Rodney concocted a cunning plan. He decked himself out in his brand new coat, switched on one of the laptops, and took a picture of himself wearing the coat and flashing the cash. He then posted his picture on his Facebook, or so he thought. Unfortunately for the 19-year-old, he had actually posted the picture on the account of the boy from whom he had stolen. So when the boy's friends logged in on their profiles, they were able to clearly see the smug mug of the man who had stolen the device. Not surprisingly, Knight was quickly caught and charged for his crimes. Next time, Rodney, read the manual, and don't experiment with a webcam.